Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Planet and Alien here on YouTube. Hope you enjoy your stay on Galaxy Noel. I don't know. I just really wish I was an alien, so... Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this. I haven't really talked much about FP and Alice, Phallus. I haven't really talked about just them. And I'm gonna read this. At just Sarah underscore SWE said, I might have missed this, but could you do a Phallus video? What do you believe happened between Phallus when the door closed? And by the spoilers for next week, he turns her down. Why do you think he does that? I have my own theories. Interesting to hear yours. Okay. So we all know at the end of episode 17, after Jughead and the Serpents, oh, sexy as hell, kicked in that door. Let me just say they can kick in my door any day for no reason at all. And, oh, yes, please. And those leather jackets. Woo. Okay, anyways, my love for Serpents is known. Okay. But, um, yeah, so when they kicked down, down the door and were there for freaking Alice and Betty, regardless of every bad thing Alice has said about the serpents, you know, and regardless of the serpents not really liking Betty because of her mom, they still helped them out because that's the kind of people serpents are. And also Jughead is a serpent. Of course, they're going to stick with their own, but they're also really awesome, nice people. And they just get a bad rap because they're in a gang. It's more a family, you know, it's not a gang. It's, they're not going around shooting people. Calm down. But anyways, so, like I was saying, yeah, so like I was saying, once they kicked down the door and were there for Alice and Betty and saved them, Alice finally, finally came to her senses and apologized to the serpents and realized that they are not bad people and that she is a serpent and she should not be ashamed of where she came from. And I'm so proud of her for that. Like, thank the Lord. Be because I want the real Alice to come out. The Alice we've been seeing since season one has been the Alice who's with Hal uh, Cooper. And that's not the real Alice. That's the pretend everything's perfect. I'm the perfect wife, perfect mother, everything. But it wasn't that, you know, that was all just a facade. And that's another thing why I love FP and Alice is Alice can be herself, her real self with FP. And he knows when she's being fake and when she's really being herself. And he doesn't care that she can be a bitch sometimes. He laughs, he loves it, you know, cause they have a history and I am so desperate to see their history. I just think it would be so interesting to see, honestly, all their histories. Like Marisol said, she would love to see like Hermione choose between Fred and Hiram. And I would love to see that too. Like, why Hiram? Why not Fred? I feel like she loved Fred, but Hiram was more a safe choice, I guess. And he wanted to get out of Riverdale and not stay. So there's that history. But I would love to see the history of back in the day with all the uh, parents when they were young and they went to high school. And I would just love to see Alice as a serpent and her with FP because I know they just had this epic love story like, not love, well, epic love story in my mind, okay, you know, like, this epic, dangerous, passionate love story, I don't know, like, they just had this love that was filled with passion, and excitement, and chemistry, and sparks, I don't know, I just feel that way, anyways, so, as we know, if you watch Riverdale, at the end of episode 17, now, we have Alice Cooper apologizing to the serpents, looking all put together, normal Alice Cooper look, right? Then, once Alice Cooper goes over to F.P. Jones' trailer, she is now, think back to when Alice went to the worm, and she was looking all hot mama, you know, freaking all black, lipstick, hair done. I mean, she looked good, let's be honest. It was a different Alice than we saw before. But, um... Except for when she showed up at, like, the party thing in that dress. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. No. But, um, anyways. So, Alice shows up at FP's house. And it's clear that she's there to get some. Because, first off, she's unbuttoned and her bra is showing. It's black, lacy. Her bra is showing. She put on lipstick. And her hair is totally more, like, messed up. Kind of like, I hate to say it, but a little, like, kind of 
slutty. Like, I don't know. She kind of looks like, you know she's coming over for sex, basically. She just has that kind of ready for sex look. And they don't say anything. She just shows up and she smiles, you know, and he lets her in. And what's very obvious that they're going to have sex is he makes sure to spit out his gum and throw it. You know, he makes sure to take out his gum and throw it. Meaning, also, wait, before that, when she walks in to his house, she doesn't walk towards the living room. She walks straight towards the bedroom. And then he spits out his gum, which basically says, oh yeah, they're hooking up. It's clear. I 100% believe they hooked up. I mean, unless, like, I, no, honestly, I don't see it, like, it would be surprising if they just talked, because, like, come on, Alice was, like, totally ready to have sex, and FP knew it, and he was down for it, because, you know, that chemistry, that connection is still there, even though, you know, because maybe, like, Fred, like, Hermione did with Hiram and Fred, maybe Alice did the same with Hal and, um, FP, she chose Hal, which was the wrong choice, obviously. But maybe that also happened. So, you know, they still have that history and stuff. So I 100% believe they did hook up. I mean, if they didn't, I would be super surprised because I'd be like, how does she go over there looking like that? How does he throw out his gum basically saying we're going to hook up or at least make out? And then all they do is talk or yeah, that's it. Like, I just couldn't see that happening. I'm sorry. I 100% believe they hooked up at the end of episode 17. Now, apparently there's this clip, you know, from Rivercon, like, about how, um, like, it's a spoiler about how next episode, episode 18, FP, like, turns Alice down, and now my reasonings behind that, why he would turn her down, one is because their kids are dating. Maybe he thinks, since Betty and Jughead are dating, that, him and Alice should not start anything up. Two, maybe it didn't end so great the last time they were together, and maybe he doesn't want to go through that again. Um, what could be the third reason? Let me think. Sorry, third reason. She is still married to Hal, because they haven't got divorced yet as far as I'm concerned. They haven't yet legalized the divorce. So she's still married. He's still married which they are separated, so you know there's that. So there's four reasons right there. Uh, I don't know, like, yeah, those are the only four I could really think of. Because, I mean, why else would he turn her down? Maybe, you know, maybe he's not ready to get into this. Maybe that's another reason. I definitely think the four choices before are the main reasons. I definitely could see Betty and Jughead being a reason, um, her maybe still being married, him still kind of being married, but not really. They're separated, so he's not really married. Um, so I could definitely see those factors playing in, and maybe he also thinks, like, she, you know, he doesn't want to be a rebound or, you know, I don't really think it's all that. I think it's more of the four choices I gave. Uh, because, like, clearly they hooked up. So him turning her down, maybe he's, I don't know. Because, you know, she's, be, Alice, at the end of episode 17, was Serpent Alice. We finally seen her. She finally came back. And FP accepts Serpent Alice. He loves Serpent Alice. He wants Serpent Alice. So I couldn't see that being the reason, like her being all different from the Alice Cooper that everyone knows as a reason, like, we shouldn't do this. Like, you know, I don't, you're going through something and I'm just not the right person. For, like, I couldn't really see that. I think it's the four choices, but there's so many possibilities that you really don't know, but I think it's definitely one of the four choices. I mean, the Betty and Jughead dating one would be the most obvious. Also, maybe their history maybe isn't so great. Like I said, maybe the last time they broke up wasn't great. So FP doesn't want to get back into that. You know, they each have spouses in some kind of way, not really. But um, yeah, I'm surprised that he turns her down like next episode. I wonder why that is like maybe, you know, like, like I said, those reasons, or maybe he just doesn't want to jump into it so fast just yet. And I don't know, you know, it could be multiple things, but I think it's some of the main ones I told you about. I think those would be the ones that I would think he would go towards, especially Betty and Jughead dating. But 
Ah, uh, I even if he does, even though he if he does turn her down, I'm sure he does because it was said. But if he does turn her down, then I still see them happening. I mean, if they did in fact hook up at the end of ugh, at the end of episode seventeen, like I know they did. There's no way they didn't hook up. There's no freaking way. Then they're bound to hook up again. Okay, it's bound to happen. The chemistry is undeniable. The connection is there. I mean, the passion is there, I'm sure. Like, it's it's bound to happen again. And they see a lot of each other, especially since they're all involved in this drug dealer's murder because of fucking chick. And also the fact that their kids are dating each other. So they're seeing a lot of each other. So, yeah, so even though he turns her down in episode 18, that's not to say that episode 19, 20, 21, 22 doesn't have more FP and Alice hooking up or more FP and Alice. I mean, I think we'll definitely get FP and Alice scenes, regardless if he turns her down or not. Of course, we're going to get scenes of them, but I think we could, we still have the possibility of getting another FP and Alice hookup. You never know. I mean, it could just happen one night, like... We are getting phallus. I know that. Whether it starts really in season three or it starts really at the end of season two is up for debate. I, I guess I could see it more starting in season three, like if they were to become a couple. I don't know if they'd become a couple. I don't know. That would take time. Both of them would want to take time on that thing, I think. But yeah, I definitely believe FP and Alice are happening. It's very clear, and I truly believe they are endgame. It's very clear that they have a very strong history, and that she possibly chose chose Hal over FP, and I think she knows she made the wrong choice. But, um, yeah, so I hope that answered your question. Uh, like I said, you know, Phallus is for sure coming, like, no matter what, no matter him turning her down, no matter what, the Black Hood killings, FP and Alice, they hooked up once, it's bound to happen again, I'm sure, and I know they're endgame, like, I just feel like they are endgame, like, I just know it, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it, I just know they're endgame, I just can feel it, so I know more FP and Alice scenes are to come, of them, excuse me, excuse me, of them just talking, and possibly of them hooking up again, or kissing, or talking about maybe giving this a go and then kissing and you know I could just I just know that phallus is coming and I cannot wait so I hope that kind of answered your question and kind of uh I don't know kind of answered your question answered your questions and you keep the faith for phallus because they are coming just because he turns her down does not mean shit don't forget Archie turned down Betty because he didn't think he was good enough and then later in the season he realized he was good enough and that he did like her but it was too late because she's with Jughead and now it's a whole complicated situation so yes that's all I wanted to say hope you enjoyed this video